Happy doggos hope you have a happy day. What is the strangest mystery that is still unsolved? Nice try Netflix. You have to find interesting unsolved mysteries yourself. This is my favorite weird and barely known one. Back in 2013 an unknown group assaulted a power substation in California. By all appearances it was pretty sophisticated, scouted firing positions, all casings wiped of prints, they targeted transformers, so they'd take time to overheat, before triggering any alarms, also knew exactly when the police would arrive. No suspect or motive to this day, they also cut some fiber optic cables in a vault nearby. Conspiracy types think it was a dry run by Russia or possibly China, to see how effective an attack like that might be. What kind of transformers, autobots or decepticons? Since the mystery was never solved, I'd say it's the perfect Optimus crime. Look up a term called red cells, and how they operate with NSA and DOD to protect sensitive domestic sites like power plants, airports, various gov facilities. Not a conspiracy BTW there's actually tons of info available if you look. Who was Perseus? From 1943 to 1946, the Soviet Union had a higher level spy in the Manhattan Project. Codenamed Perseus, this spy was a scientist at the White Sands Missile Testing Site in NM, and the main research facilities in Los Alamos. Perseus saw pretty much the entire project start to finish, giving the Russians everything they needed to get to work on their own bomb. The fact that they were able to do so within four years of the end of World War II when their nations were still devastated is proof positive that Perseus helped a great deal. And to top it all off, Perseus was never caught or positively identified. And to top it all off, Perseus was never caught or positively identified. That we know of. I don't think the US government would be keen to share the name of the person that sold out all their advancements to Russia. Probably a Penhima himself, because he realized that the type of absolute power nukes bestowed upon a person slash country, it will corrupt them absolutely as well, if there was no equal footed adversary. What on earth happened to the Trump family? So it's this Australian family who owned a berry farm. Somehow Mr. and Mrs. Trump and their three grown kids developed the belief that they weren't safe, and they needed to flee their farm without cell phones or anything traceable, credit cards, etc. It sounds like the oldest son wasn't sold on whatever it was that led them to flee. He brought his phone, but eventually it got tossed from the car. He ended up bailing first and taking a train home. From there the rest of the family slowly separated and suffered various degrees of emotional breaks. The two girls stole a car. Somehow they got separated and one made it home, but the other was found on the floor in the backseat of some guy's car in a catatonic state. He spotted her after he started down the road. Eventually the parents were found wandering around aimlessly. Fortunately they were all okay physically but WTF happened? Was someone actually after them? Were they delusional? As far as I know the family hasn't released any updates. The whereabouts of the last Gestapo chief Heinrich Müller. The last verified sighting of him was in Berlin roughly three days before it fell. He had stated he knew full well what the Russians did to prisoners, and he had no intentions of being captured. As chief of the Gestapo he more than likely had access to foreign documents as well as ways to replicate them. Both the CIA and the KGB spent time looking for him, but no trace has ever been found. South America, probably. That was the Nazi failsafe disappear and blend into the country. They think they found a chain of forts in Venezuela, used by Nazi officials. Fun fact, that's where many confederates went, after losing the war, fled to Brazil, where they had their own town. Asher degree. Girl leaves her house in the middle of the night during a storm and disappeared. The only problem is, that she was terrified of thunder and lightning and had no motive for leaving, because her whole life was fine. Then her clothes and backpack were found a year later in an abandoned construction site. Is this the girl wearing all white that they think is buried in a parking lot? No, she ran away during the early hours of the morning during a massive storm. She was spotted on the side of the highway, but ran into the woods when anyone stopped. She had apparently packed a bag with some clothes and books which was found buried miles away from her home. She seems to have spent some time in an old shed, evidenced by candy wrappers fascinating case and one that keeps me up at night why would drive a little girl to take off from a loving home into the night in the wind and rain in february was she meeting someone was she groomed 
Unfortunately the case did not generate much popular interest at the time. The USS Cyclops, a coal ship, disappeared with 306 men. The largest US Navy loss of life that didn't involve combat. Of the four built, three sank without a trace. Sounds like you could solve this mystery by making a model of the ship. They tried that, but it sank without a trace. The suicide of Ellen Greenberg. 27 stab wounds in different areas of the body. Honestly that's unreal. I'm glad the parents fought it. Looks like the case is going to trial next year. I hope the medical examiner doesn't die of suicide before he has to testify why he changed the cause of death at the insistence of the police department. Suicide stabbings are so ridiculous. There's a case from Denmark in 2003 where a woman was found dead by her husband who called the police and said she had killed herself. She was on the bedroom floor next to a broken lamp, her wristwatch was torn off and her panties pulled down and she had 179 stab wounds. Because it was a Sunday they had to call in a criminal assistant on his off day and he deemed it a suicide because she had a history of depression. Will the Delphi murders ever be solved? Who was the man on the bridge behind them? Came here for this. It drives me, and I'm sure those involved with the case, insane that there's literally video and sound, and we still can't find the guy. Which of the three astronauts aboard Apollo 10 was responsible for the floating turd? Who pooped the bunk? I think I read somewhere that it turned out to be a chocolate bar. Excuse me what? Lmeo you're in luck. This is great. I didn't do it. It ain't one of mine, said command module pilot John Young. Lunar module pilot Eugene Cernan claimed, I don't think it's one of mine, while Staff Ord was more specific in his denials. Mine was a little more sticky than that, he told the others. Brilliant. What happened to Brian Schaffer? This happened in my hometown. This med student went to a bar with friends and then fully disappeared off the face of the earth. Yes. How the hell did he make it out of that bar without being seen? And after losing his whole family under sad circumstances, I hope his brother gets the chance to learn what happened to Brian. That one time when the PM of Australia went to the beach. It even coined the term to the Herald Halt, when you leave suddenly or without letting anyone know. Australian version of going to get some milk. Is this the one who disappeared while swimming so you guys named a swimming pool after him? The Overtown Bridge. It's a bridge in Scotland, where dogs always unexplainably jump off. It's very strange and nobody knows for certain why they do this. Dogs who survived reportedly walked back up and jumped off again. They even had to put up a warning sign to keep your dog on a leash and to watch them. A lot of theorists say maybe it's because of certain scents or animals down below, but most people have disagreed with this theory. It's duck and weird. I remember that a new theory, which is supported by most experts, has something to do with the bridge's shape and resonant frequency creating sounds only audible to dogs. These sounds mess with the dog's perception and can drive them a bit mad. That guy who ran away from the airport hopped the fence and was never seen again. The guy's motive for shooting up all those people in Vegas. This one has bothered me for quite some time as well. The guy had no criminal record, no history of mental illness, no known religious or political affiliations, was financially well off, and no known relationship issues. Very strange indeed. The Bobbit's Void is a region of outer space that contains no galaxies or stars and we don't know why. According to Wikipedia there are 60 known galaxies, where there should be around 2000. Not quite zero, but interesting either way. An unknown group of people broke into an FBI building, and no one has found out who they are. But the best part of the story is, they did it by leaving a sticky note that said, do not lock the door tonight and it worked. Imagine being the guy who left it unlocked. I think that would be everyone that day. Last one out was the most rotten egg, though. The authorities actually managed to track them down to a shady motel room, but when they arrived, there was a sign on the door knob which said do not disturb. The perpetrators remain free to this day. That might be related to the Scientologist break-ins. When they were working on getting their tax-free status for their organization they needed to get intel and leverage against the government. So they simply ordered a few members to walk right into the FBI headquarters as if they were agents. They took what they wanted and then left. The only organization to blackmail the US government publicly and win that I know of. 
The government f up big time though. They filed federal tax evasion charges against many thousands of church members at the same time. They expected to get a big portion to plead out and turn evidence against other members. The government forgot that many lawyers are members. They all volunteered their time. They all filed motions for separate trials for all the tens of thousands of church members. The eyes did the math for the cost of all those trials inside the statute of limitations shoot their pants and settled everything out of court. To this day they are legally a church in the US, all charges were dropped against their members, and the church kept everything learned during Ops Snow White out of the public.